Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Life City series. I'm your host, Cosfade. It's episode 40. I have installed the automated automated pop migration mod. It requires version 2.5 of the game or higher. I have version 2.6. It still gives me a red exclamation point. But I've installed it anyways. We're going to unpause the game and see if it moves all this. We're going to find out. We're gonna find out what it does. The Zokmox display psionic potential. Okay, great. Um, we're gonna go to some of our ring worlds down here, Ring AA, which has 97 jobs. Uh, I'd like to create some more alloy foundries. This is one of the planets I'm gonna do it on. 97 jobs, so we're gonna see. Oh, an automatic pot migration. This is the way it works. Let's see, decision. There are decisions and there should be policies. So let's see about that. Population controls. Can use long term ground graph. Yeah. Can selectively grow declined species. Oh, oh, I definitely want that. No, I'm not going to do that. Hold on. That's probably not what I want. Auto pop migration. Here we go. Habitability. Yes. Any habitability actually would be fine. Um, because most of our planets are going to be Gaia worlds, but we'll do this. Habitability above 80%. Okay, unemployed and homeless. All unemployed. I would like all unemployed. Yes, please. Force, habitability, migration. Sets the policy for forced migration based on habitability. Employment status and housing status are ignored. A maximum of three pops per month can move. The last pop on the planet will not move. Increased risk of building district. Destruction? No. Okay. Auto pop migration. Free jobs required. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go to edicts. I don't know how this works. Auto migration pop empire stats shows big numbers of total free jobs, total free housing, and total pop unemployment in your empire. This event automatic pop migration empire status happened. Yes. All right, empire free jobs, 316 empire free housing, 1550 empire unemployed pops, 1000. That's nice. So I turn off greater than ourselves. Can we turn it off? We can't. We can't do anything with that. It's just active. Okay, well, we're going to hope that this overrides that stuff. So there's nothing else here that has to do with that. I don't think automatic pop migration. So, so what do we do? We have decisions here that we have to enact. I don't think so. I think it just works, doesn't it? It's supposed to. Let's find out. Let's give it a little time and see what happens here. Because the last time I used this was like version 2.2 and it moved a lot of pops. Research concluded. At the end of a month. Species. Research included. All right. want to make sure there's nothing else I'm missing here in policies because there's just yeah forced habitability auto pop migration purge I'm not purging anybody order restored on one of those planets artificial intelligence trade food land appropriation resettlement allowed okay in breach See what happens here. See if it starts moving people or not. I very much like it too. This world's gonna need some more jobs. Uh, it's gonna need a lot more housing. Oh no no. Research. Get concluded. one of those housing. That's enough. Research. Yeah, the last time I used this mob, it like this mod, it moved people right away, and it moved a lot of them. Now it's that one policy scene, three people per month. So, population controls. That's different than cannot use non-voluntary species or planet population controls. Cannot select it. Yeah, that's different. Long-term demographics is too important. 
I don't think that has anything to do with this. So, habitability. All unemployment. Forced habitability migration. What does this mean? Moon pops that have less than 40% habitability regardless of unemployment or housing status. The maximum of three pops per month. No forced migration. Move pops that have less than... See, this is just has to do with habitability, which I don't care. Require free jobs where they go. That's fine. Move all unemployed pops. Another day. Which is what we Another want. Any habitability... Maybe that's what I should have moved it to. Maybe it's not considering the ring worlds. Maybe it's not considering them because it's 300. Yeah, it's not moving people. Job retaining campaign. What's this? Drastically improves the time newly unemployed pops take to demote to a different job. Only affects pops employed after starting the campaign. Oh, that's interesting. So that comes with that too. That helps you move people down faster. I'm not sure that that's necessary. Will to power. Yeah, I need that influence. Give it to me, please. Hearts and minds. Architectural renaissance. Well, that's interesting. So, is, are, is it not moving him because of the habitability? Because it doesn't consider a ring world 100% habitable? Because look, this is, habitability is 100%. So why Research is it not moving concluded. people? Or is it because greater than ourselves is mucking it up? I'm going to have to do some research. This is, this is disappointing. I was really hoping it would do what it did last time and move all these pops. Can we repeal greater than ourselves? Greater than ourselves. Repeal greater than ourselves. Yeah, send that up. Repeal greater than ourselves. Senate floor. This is natural sanctuaries, diplomatic weight from economy. We said we're going against this. It's not going to pass. Um, repeal greater than ourselves. Can we... Emergency... Cannot propose emergency measures when the Senate's already in session. Okay. Alright, well. Research concluded. Move art monument. Heck no. Ecology project, create resort. Yeah, so there used to be decisions with this mod that would say focus like on sending people to a specific planet, I think. If I have a, a recollection that's not aired there so that's interesting yeah it's not moving people hmm so we'd have to do it ourselves again because things aren't things aren't gonna work the way we want it to Gosh. initial colonization phase Solaris. another day another scientific break Well, interesting. I wanted to see what this is like. Yeah, ring AC. Hmm. Research concluded. But it's not going to move people. I'm going to have to do a lot of research, I think, to figure out what the heck is going on with all this, because before I play my next game, I might have to play a test game to find out from the start if it'll work. I just, I still feel like this is a problem that Paradox should be able to solve, and we shouldn't have to deal with mods to do it. This feels like a solvable problem, and they chose to solve it in the poorest way possible. And for that, they have my scorn. Because hmm. to have to sit in this screen over and over and over. I haven't wanted to touch this for a while because I've just been 
interested in trying to get the wars because I want to see the victory condition pop, but this is discouraging to say the least. Ring double A. So I'm just thinking, hmm. Well, there's a lot, there's a lot of thoughts running through my Another head. Day. Another scientific breakthrough. Right here, right this minute about this game. One of them is um, just how utterly frustrated I am by this. And the thought that maybe the best thing to do is just leave the game alone until Paradox decides that they actually want to fix it. And who knows when that would actually be. You know. Until they actually want to fix it. What I would call the right way. A way that would actually fix it. Because greater than ourselves clearly is not doing the job. It's not. Now. Here's the other thing that, that is worth considering. In the data points here. Is maybe greater than ourselves. And maybe even this mod. Maybe they just don't work well with 2.6. Maybe that's the case. Or maybe this mod doesn't work well with greater than ourselves installed um, as an edict. Or maybe the only way to get greater than ourselves to work is to upgrade to the absolute latest version of the game, like 2.7. And maybe it would work then. But I'm not sure I want to sit through another 30 or 40 hours of game just to get myself into another situation like this and get to the end and be like oh yeah it still doesn't work I don't think that that's something I want to do so this is this is discouraging to say the least I'm really I'm more than anything I'm perplexed I'm puzzled because I can't be the only player that's experiencing this in the late game. And I know one of the, probably the most common thing I see on the message boards is people complaining about late game lag. And certainly I've experienced some of it here. But I think the lag is causing people to not even get this far into the game. And so they're not experiencing this, this late game population management. And they're not realizing, oh, this is a giant disaster. Because they can't even get there. Because the lag makes them quit. And they're like, oh, frustrating. Um, I have a pretty beefy system. So the lag, especially the lag that happens on the first of the month, isn't that bad. But you get to this point in the game where it's uh, this late with this many pops. And this isn't even one of the bigger maps. When it isn't even one of the bigger galaxies and you experience this and you say to yourself who thought this was a good idea because this is this is not good so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shelve this game um, I really wanted to play out all the way to the end to to integrate my vassalized empire Initial here. colonization phase complete. At the Boki Hive are 75 months away. And I really just wanted to see... I wanted to see that screen pop up. Um, but it's pretty clear now that that's not going to happen. I'm going to speed this up while I'm sitting here rambling. And I'm going to look at... the possibility of things that I can do here because there's nothing else to do there. there's no more people to conquer uh, all there's all that's left to do is to take my vassals and integrate them so I think what I'll do is just let this game run and see if it gets to that point and then if it does, I'll splice that on to the end of this video and let you guys know about it. But for the meantime, i got to say I'm really disappointed that Greater Than Ourselves and both this mod are not working. I think I can't change this till 2596. Okay, so. Displacement only. Allowed. 
One must be true. Gestalt xenophobe fag. Xenophobe. That's funny. You gotta be able to do that to purge. Huh? Yeah, I'm just not seeing what I want to see out of this. So with the bokeh hive doing that, and we can't integrate our other subject until the bokeh hive is done. That's one of the hurdles keeping us from moving forward with our with our other ones because we have we have the bulky hive we have the authority of veer's haunt which shouldn't take very long to integrate because they're very small republic of ehim which is 20 planets and then do we have any other vassals no so between the three of them it would take a while to do that and i think all we can really do now is sit down here and continue to do this. Just uh, ring worlds. Ring A F. So we'll use our our fantastic alloy structures. Our alloy stockfold. Um We'll keep building ring worlds here, in fact. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I'll let this run. I'll let you guys know how this turns out. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see it after integrating everybody if it pops the victor scheme. Because if it does, that would be really cool. <sighs> Deep breath for me. Five seconds of time for you guys. Okay, this is going to be a public service announcement for everybody who watches this game. Uh, there is a way to take all those annoying pop-ups and turn them into these notifications on the long top. The thing I've been griping about for 40 episodes now, there's actually a way to do it. And you can see, and then it pops up here and it has a nice little chime noise. And the way to handle this is in the settings, into the gameplay, event pop-ups, turn them off. And you can also turn off event auto-pause. So I like this. You can change event pop-ups, turn them off, and they don't become pop-up dialogue boxes anymore they just turn into these things up here uh, this is a huge huge thing so now we know so a little brief update here in this video the bokeh hive is about to become fully integrated in five months you can see the number of notifications we get from unemployment either order being restored or, or rising unemployment so this is just that many notifications is what I would have clicked had to click through if I hadn't changed it in the settings so I'm at the very moment just very thankful that I found that and that I thought to even check that um, that was super annoying so this has been super helpful and I'm just kind of plowing through I'm gonna wait and see what the bulky hive does they're gonna finish their integration shortly and then we'll integrate the next group of people that need to be integrated there's there's one that's really short uh, these folk the bulky hive mind the authority of Viri's haunt they have 11 planets and the republic of ehim has 31 so i would think the Viri's haunt would go pretty quick bulky hive two months away and this is all that's going on in the game i just want to see if the victory screen is going to come up or not so that's that's the only reason I'm still playing this this particular game is I want to see if the victory screen will pop up because it says victory has been disabled but that's because the time victory was disabled we should still get a victory screen if we conquer the galaxy but I I'm taking it that they don't count vassals as fully conquered because they could potentially not be your vassal so I think you have to integrate them fully before it says oh yeah you finally won that's my that's my working theory at the moment, we're actually down. Yeah, rare crystals. We're going to have to build some, aren't we? Well, let's see about the bulky hive here. We're at the end of the month. We're at the first of the month. This should be it. Bulky hive should be fully integrated. They are now, it looks like. That went away. Great. We got new planets. And it rolls over to the second day here. A whole bunch of stuff's going on because it's grabbing all these new planets for us that I'm going to have to go through and fix. It's taking a long time, isn't it? They had a bunch of planets, so. 
it's the second day so we can see this with all this stuff that was bo bulky hive now is gone so we're gonna go in here and take these guys and integrate them it'll take five influence per year take 240 months so it'll take a while we're gonna let that run all right folks i will catch you up to date on the next one we'll just keep splicing the video together this will be fun well we're down to the last year before the republic of Yehim gets fully integrated as our last vassal this is where the empire sits this is where the galaxy sits nobody left but the feudal room realms feudal realms and the merchant guilds um the Regan Commerce Exchange. There was one empire that popped up during this time that was a rebel of the Silicon Manifold. They had one system and five habitats. We had to go in there and squash them with our our federation. Our federation, in fact, popped up the war notice. We're going to war, and I was like, against who? Uh, but we're down to these guys, and we're going to find out if this actually pops the victory tab or not there's been a lot of there's still a, a a mess of unemployment and um what i've learned is that with the auto pop migration mod installed this is version 2.62 2 of the game it's supposed to work with this and it and you can tell that it's installed because the policies are here we used those earlier but none of the planetary decisions are there. And I went back through and I read the description of the mod. And they're supposed to be there. They're supposed to be planetary decisions so that you can tell it to send all your unemployed pops to a particular planet, for instance. You're supposed to be able to set a decision on a planet here and say, send them to this planet. Force them to go to this planet. Uh, none of those decisions exist. So I'm guessing that some part of installing the mod, maybe in the, because it happened in the middle of a game, I don't know, maybe because it's 2.62, but there is a user, uh, John of Arc, uh, commented recently on the Steam page for the mod saying that it does work in 2.7.2, .2. so I'm very curious to see in the, an upgraded version, because as soon as I get done with this game, I'm upgrading to the latest version that Steam offers. The taking over the bulky hive over here when we integrated them, they were a hive mine and so there was a whole lot of purging going on and then we ended up with a lot of these places down here that had broken buildings. This one not so much now. I've been trying to rework these over time just to give me something to do while I'm waiting for the last integration to happen. So we've been able to get some of these planets aligned. But for the most part, we've had a, a ton of unemployment. You can see just thousands and thousands and thousands. And then I've got all these ring worlds with all these available jobs, and they're not getting moved over. So, And I also have no idea if there, if there was, when we, when we installed the mod, the, the Galactic resolution greater than ourselves was active i don't know if it caused it a problem we deactivated it by voting it down later and now they want to revote it again no surprise there unfortunately that's just such an incredibly bad solution to the problem that uh, it doesn't really do anything I'm of the mind to maybe just try and mod greater than ourselves. I don't know much about Stellaris modding, but it does kind of make me want to try it because I would really just like it to be effective. I'd like it to move as many pops as possible every single month. We have this edict where we can go check automatic pop migration empire stats and we can hit this and it's supposed to bring up a dialogue that'll show us it doesn't do it anymore now again something else that's kind of broken oh it probably doesn't do it because of i see yeah if we go to gameplay if we probably have to turn this back on so if we do that go over to edicts and hit it there it is so now we have empire unemployed pops 2000 right and they were a thousand before i think Maybe they were 10,000. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. You know, and 600 free jobs, come on. And enough free housing to move people around and not have to worry about it. So uh, I'm going to go back and 
adjust that event pops off. I like that. You, you, I think you want to have that on early in the game for anomalies, but late game, I think you definitely want to reconsider having that on with all this unemployment. Phase um, ring worlds, I've continued to build ring worlds down here. Lots of them. But this is about to go off. We got the last month here. We'll move down to normal speed. I don't think that's going to make a difference as far as it's choking itself, but we'll give it a try. We're going to see the Republic of Yihin, which has some land in a few places. Valorum, we've we've acquired a lot. So we'll see what happens here at the first of the month lag when you're trying to integrate people. There's the Republic of Ehim up there. All that, a bunch of unemployment. And there we go. No victory screen at all. So I have to assume that, and you can see our Empire Sprawl just blew up. I have to assume that the only way the victory screen would pop when the end date is turned off now is you have to destroy every single faction on Hostiles board. Making Hostile making planetfall. Who's this? Making planetfall where? Congruence? Who's fighting us? Oh, defense army half and half. Hmm. So where's this? It's right here. This is in a place called... Congruence? Who are the hostiles? Who are these guys? Congruence army. Rebels of the half Wasari. Maybe that's why. Let's find out what happens there. So what do we have for factions now? Artisan troop. Us, 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 Rigan Commerce Exchange, Mutagen Merchant Guild, which doesn't count, the Curator Order, which doesn't count. I'm curious what's happening here. Convergence. Now we have a bunch of reserves. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong thing. This is us, and who is this? The Seventh Poison Stock Assault Army, Uindar, rank regular. Let's speed this up and see what happens. So we're coming to a close with this war on this planet of congruence with these rebels. And this is the last possible thing that could be holding up the victory screen from popping. Unless my assumption about how the victory screen pops is wrong. Now, I've had it pop before, but it's been in... In the situation where the game has no end date, I've had it pop before, but that's when I've played like a determined exterminator and it's destroyed everybody. I assumed it would pop if everybody that was left was in my federation and an ally. I seem to be wrong about that. This will be the last step to tell us the truth. So I'm very curious because when we finally integrated our last subject, these guys popped up. So let's see what happens. We're down to the last 50 troops. And that's the end of that and no victory screen. So it appears like there are two possibilities here that I can see. One is um, victory has been disabled only because the end date has been disabled. This is kind of a misnomer. I'm sure we could go through here and if we destroyed everybody else, if we left the Federation and destroyed everybody else, we could get that screen to pop. I don't really want to do that. And then the other thing is I have no idea how the feudal realms factor into this. I'm a little bit tempted to go invade those planets. Um, where are these guys located at, for instance? Are they in our space? This is Valorum space. So they are located in Valorum space. And these feudal realms are located where? 
These are also located in Valorum space. So that would be the last thing to do is to go conquer them. Um, so I might do that and see if it pops in. <laughs> Just because I'm so curious, I really want to know. So there we go, folks. There's a little update in this episode. All right, so we're going to see about invading these primitive species. Turn them hostile against us. Takaram. And uh, they have no armies? They're primitive world? What happens? Commencing planetary okay. incursion initiative. Should... Planetary incursion initiative successful. That's what happens to Takaram then. Just becomes one of our planets. Very nice. Okay. What's that little flag say? Stellar culture shock. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> I'll give you some luxury goods and declare martial law and we'll build a, a precinct house and make you uh, there's a lot of energy there I'll make you a generator so there's one <laughs> and then way up here is the last primitive species so we'll do them as well the Jaguarland Society. Take them over. They have 13. Wow. Good for them. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. Independence Day happened and they lost. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Okay. You can be a mining world. Do the same thing with them. And I don't see anything happening here from a victory condition standpoint. So I have to believe that uh, we've done everything we can. A League of Non-Aligned Powers owns everything. What, who are these guys? Union of Resolvent Mammalian. Where are they at? Where did they pop up at? They're right here. Oh. Yeah, they're right there. So now they're like their own empire. Okay. All right. Form a research agreement. Sure. I don't want to. Invite to Federation. How come we can acceptance? Wow. Base wary attitude. Okay, so we take two of our available people and add them. Now who who else is left up here? Commerce exchange, not real. Not real, not real. Artisan troop, not real. And the Zuricorp, not real. All the rest of these are just things that shouldn't be included. These guys are it's interesting that they became a faction here, but this other one did not. These guys got culture shocked and were just like, boom. Will expire in 3,000 days. Stellar culture shock. So that's interesting to me. Huh. Well, we'll help them clear all their junk, right? Well, if there's only the one new faction in... Getting a little bit of late game lag here. I'm going to send all my guys to improve relations with them. Can I only assign so many? They have two colonies. Oh, wait a minute. Two colonies. Is that why? Because we didn't get both of their colonies. We only conquered the one. They said they have a second colony. Where? Where do they have a second colony? <clears throat> 
the Falmer system, their Falmer, resolvent and trigometric. In the Falmer system, what? Who are you guys? You're way down here. Rebels of the Silicon Manifold. Oh, I see. So they just showed up. Huh. Yeah, I don't think defeating any of these guys is going to let us keep going. So <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get the victory screen to pop. And I have no desire to go con conquer everybody else and deal with another 10 years of integration. And then another 10 years of integration. And then another 10 years of integration. Um, I really feel like that's a flaw in the game right now. I hope there's a mod to fix it. I think if you have the influence, you should be able to integrate more than one at a time. We're left with all of these people. Hegemonic imperialists, so. Wary, huh. So they're, yeah, and they're not going to want to join our federation because the Silicon Manifold is in it, and they're... Hmm. I mean, look how many more empires we'd have to go. Five more empires at least. Plus these new guys. To get to the end. So, yeah, I thought you could get a victory screen with the Federation. And I was wrong. You can't do it. So I'm going to end this episode and end this series. This will be the last video. I appreciate everybody watching up to this point. This has been educational for me, certainly, to understand how the victory condition with the Federation works. Um, I'm a little disappointed that it works this way. But as I intend to play Driven Assimilators my next time through, I might do the same thing, turn off the end date, and in that case I will be able to conquer the whole galaxy. And I know that works, so we've done that before. Unless they change it to 2.7, which who knows? Paradox changes this game so much. Uh, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. As usual, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, my Patreon's listed below. I'll see you all next time.